Din, tacă că din. Tac că jur nu tata că din, că din. Din, că jur nu tata că din, că din, tata că din, din. Din, că jur nu tata că din, că jur nu tata că din, că jur nu tata că din, că din, că din, că tata 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 că Professor Shankaran, thank you for doing that. That is called solukattu. Solukattu, yes, that's right. It's, and solukattu means words in a bunch. Uh, yes, that's right. Yeah, a bunch of syllables. Bunch it's all of... in imitation of percussive sounds. You came to Canada 40 years ago to teach uh, Indian classical music and that to South Indian classical music. At York University. At York University. Yes. What was it? What has it been like to teach Indian classical music? outside of india because the way you learned is an oral tradition yes and here it is more of a structured way of teaching mm -hmm. so what were the changes and innovations you had to bring about both in your teaching and in your sharing of knowledge uh, yes it was uh, quite a remarkable uh, experience new experience uh, quite challenging i should say but i really learned to adapt myself very quickly really see you know over uh, 40 years what I have done you know since uh, my time of arrival um, is to kind of uh, in the academic teaching the kind of innovations that I have made in the way I have uh, trained the students the kind of a hybrid method like a oral method combined with a written system and how my students have benefited from that and also my vast experience of giving lecture demonstrations at various universities in North America and also on the performance side how I have collaborated with the numerous uh, you know, uh, world-class musicians and so like, uh, music fusion if we want to say. How I have uh, you know, learned to accommodate myself in performances and this kind of direct performance experience which I have taken to my classroom teaching. And I think those things really speak for all my years of experience uh, in Canada. And uh, in 40 years, how many students do you think you've taught? Um, many, many hundreds, <laughs> um, thousands, because 40 years, and um, um, I don't know, it's, it's countless. countless. And um, you have a student who is doing a PhD in uh, Solukattu? In Solukattu. In fact, other people have also done at the, at the master's level, and there are you know, a couple of people now who are into, and for which, of course, you know, um, they look um, as a reference uh, uh, at my uh, book, The Art of Konakol, that was uh, published very recently. Uh, Konakol is a higher form of Solukattu. That's right, it's a high, higher art form of speaking Solukattu is called Konakol. Okay, and that is something that you have to learn when you learn percussion drumming. Yes. In, in yeah. the way what, which is what you teach. Yes, absolutely. They, you know, they have to study directly from the teacher. And in India, you know, this has to, you know, uh, taken, uh, you know, different uh, turns and different shapes, and it's been used in different contexts. So, the, in other words, the, the value of the study of Solkato uh, cannot be overemphasized.